So, next one on the board, who are the most desperate college football fan bases right now? You want me to start us off? You can. I've got a couple of them. So, I've got Kansas on here because they tasted it 15 years ago, right? 2007, they were still pretty good in 2008, and they have been atrocious. Now, Vanderbilt fans can say this. I've got Vanderbilt on this list as well, but... Kansas has not even been semi-competent in years. Now, they've got the two wins over Texas, but when you've got four conference wins in, what, like seven, eight years, that is as putrid as you can possibly get. I Kansas, I think, is the most desperate college football fan base. Uh, you got another one that, uh, that you want to name here? So we're, we see this very, very differently. So okay. you're you're scraping the bottom of the barrel, saying these are the worst of the worst. Oh, I've, I've got some others. I've got some. They got to be others. desperate. But see, that's not what desperation is. There are people that live their entire life at the bottom of the barrel. That's not what des- you'll never see somebody who's just been poor their entire life ever be desperate. Okay. Okay. Because they're just used to it. It's it's accustomed to them. It's it's now how they just live. All right. Desperation are those who have had a taste and then they can't get it back for the life of them. They cannot get it back. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm looking at teams like, and these are teams that have won in relative recent time, recent being a relative term. Um, I'm talking to Auburn. I'm talking to Texas. Okay. Okay. I've got I Texas on here. I think those are teams that have spent obscene amounts of money and gone through coach after coach after coach trying to find the magic pill that can make this thing work. That's desperation. People who are trying everything they can to just stay relevant. You know what? They end up fourth or fifth in their conference. You, like uh, they're, not even, they're not even impactful in their conference. You know who you're describing right now? Who's that? Nebraska. Uh, well, ne- Nebraska... Nebraska would be uh, extremely happy to be fifth in the Big Ten. Okay, yes. Nebraska ain't been fifth in the Big Ten in a while. They're fifth in the Big Ten West. Yes, no, you're you're not wrong there. Um, I put down Arizona and Illinois, but again, those are those. I think they're just used to the ups see, and downs. I, I don't see. I don't see that as desperate. Like Ole Miss is not desperate. They never been there, and if they ever got there, they would be ecstatic. But no one, no one would ever like thrive for it you know they're not desperate that's a valid point uh i put georgia tech and texas tech but now that i'm looking at it i'm like mm, maybe not maybe maybe yeah, those are not uh I, I think the three that i've named are the only three that come to my mind and they're the ones that just they've they've had a taste of it a long time ago and they cannot figure out now the right formula because they're still running off the playbook tennessee might be in that bunch yeah, but I mean, they're they're at least on the upward uh, trajectory right now. Uh, what about well, South yeah, Carolina? But, but no, I don't see that. I think South Carolina is always going to be little old South Carolina. I mean, they, they were so, good for a spell with Steve Spurrier. Yeah, that's it. That's, and that's that's, that's why I even brought it up. Carolina. Was it could be written by one guy? That, but that's not that's not history. Like that's 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 what I'm talking about. Those fans remember that time pleasantly, well. But but they know who they are. Hey, what do they uh, ever want to get back? Yes, but but they're not desperate. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. That's I was trying to think of some other ones that uh. It, it, so so teams that act desperate or or boosters and etc. Miami, Miami, uh, Miami, Real and desperate. hey, what about Texas A and M? Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they <laughs> yep. No, I, 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 that's that's the list. They, they should be on there. Yeah, they've never even won one. Which, which is why they're willing to give out these massive contracts and right. and do all do of this for NIL, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I think that makes sense. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.